just thought I'd make uh, a vid on the different Castlevania games I've got. I've got a week off work this week, so I've just been pissing about, having a blast on the old games. And uh, something I've been thinking about doing for a while. Looking at one of my favourite games, series like so. I thought we'd start off with a Super Famicom version. Now forget me if I get the names wrong, because I've had a couple of beers. And uh, I do forget, but I think this is Akamujo Dracula. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's Castlevania, but... But yeah, I used to have this on power at least back in the day, like, and this has probably got to be my all-time fave out the lot. Some of the levels on this, absolutely awesome. Mind-blowing this was back in the day, absolutely mind-blowing. And uh, this is definitely the Super Famicom game I've played the most, um, Castlevania game I've played the most out of all of them. Great game. Absolutely great. Right, move on to the next one. And you see me pick this up the other week. Like I've had this on Power Release as well. But this is a really good game as well. Vampire Killer. Absolutely great. Really happy to have that. Like I said before, I never thought I'd have that in the collection. Awesome game. Yeah. Alright, moving on. This is a Dracula. This is oh, I'll get mixed up with the names. That was Dracula X on the PlayStation. Jap PS1. I've got to be honest. I've not played this a great deal. I did used to have it on the Saturn, and it's a good game and everything. But I've not played it an awful lot, in all, all honesty. Really should give, put more time into it. But that's on the PlayStation version. I've also got Dracula X and PC Engine. That's a cracking game, man, but that's really quite difficult. Really is. Well, yeah, another good game. And I've also got it on the Sharp 68000. Got to admit, man, this packaging on these games is fantastic. I mean, you see why they cost so much money, but... Big cardboard out of the sleeve. Big, like, rock-solid case. You know what I mean? No cheap rubbish there. Instruction manual. Got the reg card with it. There's the uh, case for the discs. It's also got a sticker with it. I'm surprised that's last all these years, but um, it says on it uses disc, so I presume maybe you know you could back up your save position or something if you know how to do that put this on the disc. I imagine that's what that stick is for. If you know any different, let me know. Right. I've also had it on uh, on the Famicom. A couple of game, disc games on the Famicom. This first one, Castlevania and Simon's Quest, but I sold them. If I don't play them, I will sell them. So it's I can't see hanging on to it if you don't play it that much. Yeah, that's about it. Well, yeah, there you go. Just thought I'd show you a few different versions of uh, Castlevania. Should have put the PC Engine version on, but um, like I said, I've run out of tallies. Alright. Thanks for watching. Oh, if anybody wants a 3DS XL, I think I'm going to sell it. Because it ain't getting used. Let me know. If you want to know anything about it, have a look at my other vid from a few weeks ago. Alright, cheers. Thanks for watching.